do a little hot dog cold and a freeze. We're gonna take this around back and clean out one of our crumbler sections. It's full of mud right now, and it's pretty cold outside, so let's get back there. This is what I got so far. Got this one almost done. Got one. Got that one. And then I think that's so all we've got to do. Yeah, that's all. That's what I'm doing. And then this one right there. Then I can get out of this cold winter air. Okay, everyone, we're cultivating. Just got my AB line set. These end rows on the ditch line was horrible. It was catching in the cultivator like the beans we was there or like the dead weeds on the side. And it's still kind of doing it as you can see. Like right there it's bunching up. I'm gonna have to sometimes it'll just loosen away or sometimes it will bunch up and you gotta get out of there and get it. So I got gloves because that those are I can get to splinters in Got my AB line set, about to turn. Got the other cultivator rolling. Then we, uh, we're gonna split this field across the ditch right there. Got that field to do. This is called Turner. 40 acres and 40 acres on the other side. So we're cultivating. Got my AB line set with, with the rows. Got this field to do across the ditch. It bunched up over there, if you can see. And then the other cultivator setting their AB line. I think they already got it set, but they're doing another pass around the inroads. Like I said, this field's Turner. Is the, so is the other one's 80 acres together, 40 each. Uh, we, me and the other cultivator split this field, so I got half. Of course, they're not going to get a gun dump get it done because they have a bigger cultivator than I do. I got 28 foot. I think they got a 38 foot, 32 foot. I don't know. But we split this field and then when they get done, they'll probably come over here. Then we got this field. I don't know where we're going next. It bunched up again because I started getting on the end, getting on the end rows, trying to get this cultivated so I can just not worry about this end. So I'm gonna go out there and tip it all up and just throw it off to the side. Let's open this. Their half of the field done. 
I'm getting close, right there where that cultivated line is, right there. That's half the field. I'm getting pretty close. I think like two more rounds over there. They're done. Another one. This always sucks. It's like when it's in there, I probably gotta go raise it up. When it's in there, it's jam packed. I mean, you can see this when this gets on hard ground, this will raise up and it's not, it's not even pulling anything, it's raised up. That's how much it's jam packed in there. Gosh. After three times of trying to unplug that, finally got it unplugged. That one was higher than most of them. And then, so I got that unplugged. And hope, hope, I'm just hoping that side ain't that bad. I mean, this side was not paying in the bug enough. Especially these end rows. The end rows, it'd be like 10 feet, you got plugged up. It had one bad one, I didn't record it, but the whole cultivator, Every single shank on the cultivator was plugged up, which sucked. That's a lot of, most of these are just beams that we cut what was green and didn't cut. So, finally we got it unplugged. Hopefully it don't plug again, that's all we can hope for. When we get this that much, I'm right behind them. We're gonna go over the end rows a couple times to try to get all those plug spots way up along those end rows, try to smooth them out. And these, I think, we're gonna leave, but we're gonna go on. We're gonna go over those end rows on these sides, so we don't leave huge lumps everywhere.
kind of back and forth right now. I think this is the um, last field. But, uh, I don't know what we're going to do after this. They're doing the last pass. Then we're gonna take it all back to the shed. And then we're just gonna relax. Wow, that tree line was kind of muddy. I spin it. I got the crumble full of mud, so I cleaned that out. And today was just a lot of getting out of the tractor and unplugging things. But thank you all for watching. See you next time. Peace.